up and up and grow back and you'll be right at tip top shape. So that's my um that's my benefits what I would do with that. But if it's really serious, if you're really in that pain, especially when it's raining and you feel a lot of pain, hey, feel free to set up a consultation with me because you get a lot of free information and uh, I can be with you for the rest of your life through your whole healing journey. What if right. the cartilage is already uh, deteriorated and gone in the, uh, in the knee of a patient that's 80 years old, uh, Yehuda? Can you repeat that one more time? Um, I, uh, okay, what if... Uh, the doctors are claiming that her cartilage is gone from her. She's bone on bone. How can that, you still that, read? That, that, that don't mean nothing. Remember, I don't believe them. I don't believe them. Correct. Correct. So if, if your cartilage is gone, no matter if it's in your L5 or L4, this stuff grows Dude, back. Like, I, know really? it sounds, I know it sounds hard to believe to some people, but when you remember how Dr. Sabi did his purple sea moss and he fell on his knees and his bones were so strong? So what, once you cleanse the blood, right? The, the, the key is to cleanse, to cleanse the blood and lymphatic system. Then you can focus on your purple sea moss and rebuilding the body. The problem is people right. are just stuffing their mouth with sea moss, but they're not, they're not cleansing the body first. So I will go on right. that three-day super cleanse. And then on that fourth day, I will hit that sea moss and I'm purple sea moss. And I will put all these things. I will put the purple sea moss, the nori, the kelp, the dose, and the club moss together. And I will put alfalfa sprout up in there together then you just created a super moss then then the bones are going to be craving that stuff i would put all that in the melon juice and drink that but the, again that's after that three day that, that good three day food of detox so, right okay okay melon just alfalfa and the purple sea moss uh i'm gonna try that for her now if y'all think the people look very Oh, it can't be true because my doctor's my God and he said it, it can't be happening. Uh uh. I want to show y'all something. I got a video on YouTube called Resurrection by Death. The sister, this sister broke down to every one of her bones in her body in the month she was healed. I really want to show y'all how powerful this food of lifestyle is can be for people. So let me put this on. I'm going to put the video in the comment section. It's the third video on a YouTube channel. Here it is right here. I'm gonna put it up top. Just so make sure y'all go watch this. So she had a um, broken collarbone, skull. She had cancer. She had a tumor, and she had a broken spinal cord. I only took a month to heal. Don't believe me? Go check it out. It's right up there. Um, she also died on the scene, as she was revived back in the hospital. Oh, in her car accident. So if y'all need, if y'all trying to heal for bones, like I said, hit me up. I know exactly what to do. I've been doing it for many years. Well, thank you for that. Um, yeah, no, I haven't eaten meat, red meat or turkey or pork or anything like that in over 11 years. And it's not hard for me not to have meat because I only eat salmon three days out of the week itself. So um, that's pretty much my diet, which you already described, but more so I know that, um, it has to be a detox of the gut, you know, um, to happen. So I wanted to also ask you about passion fruit. Um, you know, I just recently, you know, I, I've drank passion fruit, um, since I was a little girl, but I just recently ate a passion fruit, discovered how to eat a passion fruit. And I, I, I was like, wow, you know, I got to get some more of these. They taste so good. They taste like, you know, Starburst or something. But when I was reading on them, um, it said that they had side effects uh, to them. And, you know, they have those little seeds that kind of remind you of the papaya seed as well. So I wanted to know, do you know anything about the passion fruit or having a access passion fruit? Is there yeah, any so harm in that? The papaya seeds is something like you do like a half a teaspoon in moderation three to four days, just like um the passion fruit seeds, moderation three to four days. Because the papaya seeds, if you're trying to get pregnant, 
or you're breastfeeding, you cannot consume papaya seeds because you will have a miscarriage because it's that powerful when it comes to tumors and breaking up benign tumors and cancer and stuff like that. Now, the passion fruit is an astringent fruit, so it's going to detoxify and pull a yeast fungus mold and candida and parasites out of the body. Any type of astringent fruit, their goal is to pull on the lymphatic system and pull stuff out of the body. So if you find yourself going to the bathroom, you get flu-like symptoms, all this means that your body is naturally healing itself. This is this is this is a positive thing because it's pushing out all that bad stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Cause I definitely felt that when eating the passion fruit today. And yeah, it's something I definitely want to enjoy this summer since I discovered it. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I didn't know how to how to eat it until my son cut it open and said, here, mom, you take a spoon and you scrape out of it. So, yeah, I definitely want to make usage of passion fruit this summer. So thank you. You got your star fruit, too. Um, let's say if your, your son is the athlete, right? You can eat the star fruit to do like a meal replacement because it keeps you fuller. That's called star. Oh, yeah, we have the star fruit and we love the kiwi as well. Okay, perfect. Now, um, flaxseed, no, um, no flaxseed. The nuts that we can't consume is hemp seed, Brazil nut, black walnut, and sesame seeds. No other nut besides the nuts that I put in the comment section. Not flaxseed, not cashews, not, no other nut besides the nuts. Every time you eat something, your body goes through a metabolic process and either leaves behind an alkaline ash or an acetic ash. Black sea is an acetic ash food, right? All the, the nuts in the bottom is an alkaline ash food. But the Brazil nut is the only nut you need to be eating in moderation because uh, it's full of arginine. If you got PCOS, fibroid, cystic tumors, do not consume Brazil nut. It will grow it. But if you're a bodybuilder, you get into calisthenics working out, Brazil nut milk is very good because it rebuilds everything. Right. How do you feel about the chia seed? No other nut besides hemp seed, Brazil nut, black walnut, and sesame seeds. That's the nuts we can consume. Chia seeds, black seed is a um acetic ash food. I mean, it's not good for you. Even if you look on Google and say, oh my gosh, it has so many health benefits, all that stuff means nothing. It's an acetic ash food. The nuts that I put in the comment section, especially for so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, those are nuts that we can consume. All them other nuts, leave it to the other races. That's that that that's the nuts that they can consume. You know what I'm okay, I also wanted to ask you about your thoughts on coconut water and coconut milk. Great question. So, coconut milk is mucus forming. Especially if you got, again, PCOS, fibroid, cystic tumors, coconut milk is full of L-arginine. It's just going to grow it. Coconut water is extremely good. That can be consumed every day. Thank you. Yeah, I drink a lot of coconut water, but um, I left coconut milk alone a while ago when I started noticing um, really, my body wasn't taken to it. Just as almond milk, I, I couldn't take almond milk either. Soy or none of that other milk that they, you know, push out there. But that leads me to ask you, how do you feel about coffee in general? Coffee's poison. Only coffee that we can consume is dandelion root coffee and mushroom coffee. The sweeteners we can use for that is date syrup. As a matter of fact, I put it in the comments earlier. It was date syrup, 100% maple syrup, blue agave, and manuka honey. But the other coffee is full of carbonic. Remember, them beans is full of carbonic acid. Just like kidney beans shuts down the kidneys because it's full of carbonic acid. Black beans, carbonic acid. Coffee beans, carbonic acid. So we need simple amino acid food to eat. Um, look more towards your dandelion root coffee and your mushroom coffee in moderation. So the mushroom coffee in moderation, your dandelion root coffee, you can't consume anything. Thank you. I love the dandelion coffee. And every now and again, I do have me a good cup of coffee. I'm, I'm very um, 
meticulous about it, uh, like an African bean over a Colombian bean or anything. But yeah, I uh, was curious because you hear different mixed information about the coffee bean itself. But thank you. Yeah, just all you gotta do is just research carbonic acid levels and a lot of these beans, and you don't realize what, why we shouldn't consume it. But we already got the dandelion root coffee and mushroom coffee, so we got a replacement. And we all know dandelion is extremely powerful. So just that alone, uh, the replacement for coffee is going to be really good for Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I see we got some more people in the chat. I'm sending y'all all invites. We would love for y'all to come up and ask some questions because we love questions. So if y'all got any questions, y'all more than welcome to come up and, um, you know, Ask questions, statements, or concerns so you can get the answers that you need. All right, let me know if anybody's want to. Yoda, what do you think about the clove tea? You said clove tea? Clove tea. Clove tea is good. Yeah. Clove is good in general. Anything right. dealing with cloves is for parasites, right. so I would definitely agree with you. Right. I, I give a lot of it to the senior citizen. That's why I was asking. I'm sure it tastes like crap, though, right? Well, they take it because I tell them it's either, if it don't hurt, it don't work. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and they'll take it. All right, what's going oh, on, man? Oh, I thought it was on the panel. Yeah, that clove tea is pretty good. Um. That's pretty good. What do yeah, you What do you recommend for di um, diabetic neuropathy? Diabetic neuropathy, endocrine brain. So we're dealing with autonomic nervous system issue, the adrenals and the pancreas. So diabetic neuropathy. I would recommend. I can just give you all this in the comments. There's a little freebie. If you go on the website, um, that's on my on my bio, right? I would recommend the endocrine endocrine brain nerve and general gland i'm typing this in brain nerve and a general gland t i would recommend the house special um i would recommend so let me tell you i would recommend the brain power all right boom and i would recommend the vax out parasite powder just to remove some of the um, heavy metals and parasites within the body. Because I know for a fact they probably eat garbage and fish and stuff like that. So I would just recommend the Vax Out Parasite Powder. And that's what I would recommend for diabetes neuropathy in the comment section. I got a question. What's, what is it, What exactly is happening to the woman's body when she decides to uh, get her tubes tied? Sorry. Just slows down a couple of things, um, especially dealing with the. If you study it, I always study the pituitary gland when it comes to anything dealing with the woman's reproductive system. So when you Google um, the uh, the effects on having your tubes tied with the pituitary gland, it's going to give you all the information. It's going to give you a full breakdown you need to know what having them tubes tied. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So just type in pituitary tube side, pituitary gland tube side. And any questions, y'all? Can you talk about uh, the mushrooms? I know once you mentioned about uh not eating too many of them because i love mushrooms um i know the lion's mane is good but i've never actually put it in food or anything so um if you are if you don't got no if you don't got no yeast infections no candida overloads or um Urinary tract infection, I will incorporate the lion's mane, cordyceps, and chaga. Now, remember, these mushrooms will mold in your body. That's why you should eat it in moderation. 
So the Lion's Mane, the Quarter Shepherd Shaga is one of the top ones. And um, you can start adding it in powdered form to your juices. I like to add it to my papaya juice or my papaya smoothie. Um, I like to cook with the chicken wood. The chicken wood, I think, tastes more like meat than anyone. And um, the blue oyster mushroom is really good, too. So uh, remember, when you cook food, you're getting rid of the bioflavonoids, biophotons, and en enzymes. But when you eat it raw, you're getting more of the properties from it. So um, in a lot of my meals, I do, um, I do um, like, Blue oyster mushrooms, sweet purple potatoes, zucchini noodle, eggplant pasta, and cherry tomatoes and purple cabbage. So I put all this stuff together and create a, a really good meal. And like I said, anytime you eat mushrooms, always eat it in moderation because it will mold in your body. What's going on, Rebecca? How you doing? Hello, how are you? I'm doing okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself, and uh, let me know if you got any questions, statements. Um. Yeah, I'm a recent breast cancer survivor, and um, I just had reconstructive surgery in February. Now, there's a pill that my oncologist said that I have to take for the next five years. I should have started taking that pill from. January, the end of January, and in my spirit, I just feel like I cannot take that pill, and I don't know why. I'm reluctant to take it. So, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Hey, sister, can you read what it says on the top of Solutions healing cancer, diabetes, injured, common HIV, etc. What does it say below? Stage four breast cancer healed. It only took her six weeks to heal from stage four. No chemo, no radiation, and no surgery. Just six weeks. What's your thoughts? That's amazing. So, do you have any lymph nodes left? I'm not sure. Uh, you got you got both breasts, or you got any duct loads? Um, I only have one. I I have one one breast left over. They already um cut off the left one, and what they did was they gave me a tummy tuck and used the flesh from the tummy tuck and built a a new breast. So I'm currently healing from that. Yeah, did they take your duct loads as well? Or? I know they took out lymph nodes. I need, um, I need they, to know, uh, was it the left side or right side? All I need to know is that left. do you have any... Okay, they took out the left side, so that must mean you have some on your right side, right? Yes. Perfect. I can help you out as long as you stop getting surgery. Because they ain't doing yeah. nothing My for you, to be honest. My surgery is done. My surgery Perfect. is done. Mm -hmm. All right, I can definitely help you out. Now, I'm going to tell you um, the problem with this breast cancer stuff, right? We got to stop getting these surgeries because it ain't doing nothing but making the problem worse. When you remove your, your breast alone is the two biggest lymph nodes in your body. And then your lymph nodes correlates with your lymphatic system. This is the septic tank of your body. In order for me to heal anybody, all praise to the most high, we have to cleanse the lymphatic system. Why would they remove lymph nodes when that's the system used to cleanse the body? I don't care if it was cancer on it. I don't care if it was disease on it. It, it naturally heals itself. So I'm going to tell you a story about what happened with my stage four breast cancer client. Did you want to say something before I continue? No, I'm listening. So my stage four breast cancer client, she found a lump on her breast, right? She went to the doctor. The doctor seen the lump, sent her to a pathologist. The pathologist took a sample of the flesh of the breast, put it under a microscope, gave the results back to the doctor. The doctor looked at her face and said, you have stage four breast cancer. Automatically, she was in fear, right? She was scared. Now, think about how a doctor thinks. I, I'm go, I want to make you scared because I know when you're scared because the kidneys is where the ancestors pass the information through. Right above the kidneys is something called the adrenal glands. The adrenaline, you get to be in fear, and it correlates with adrenal clone, which correlates with the fight or flight. So now you are in fight or flight. Now I'm pushing chemo. 
Now I'm pushing radiation. I'm telling you, hey, man, you need to get this radiation. We got to cut them ducts off. We got to cut the breasts off and remove the lymph nodes because if you don't do it, you're going to die. So he, he's telling us all this information. Once she's already in fear because they, uh, they already push a chemo and they're not going to give you a chance to think. You, you will never get a chance to think about healing when you're messing with these doctors. So now they push the chemo, they push the radiation. She got one round of chemo, right? She was at home, mouth tastes like metal. She called off of work, couldn't barely breathe, couldn't barely walk, just was in bed, ready to, you know, transition. Yep. Fortunately, she came on one of my, pe- you want to say something? That's exactly how I felt. And this is, and you're not the only story. A lot of y'all stories goes the same way. She was, she was in the, like I said, she was in the bed, mouth tastes like metal, could barely breathe, could barely walk, called off of work, just sick as a dog. Fortunately, she came to my panel when I was teaching on Beagle Live. I think I was teaching for like seven, eight hours. All she did was just t- take some notes, right? She took some notes, ended up signing up for, and now this time my consultation was only $20. That's, that was it. My consultation was $20. So she paid $20, got with me on the phone. I sent her all the information she needed. This is exactly what happened. The lump on her breast when she started juicing and the specific stuff I told her to juice and the herbs I told her to take, the lump on her breast after three weeks, it went down, right? And then on the fourth week, the abnormal cells of her breast moved from her breast to her upper respiratory. On the fourth week, it moved to the lining of her intestines. On the fifth and a half week, all right, it moved to her liver. So I'm thinking, okay, just give her a liver cleanse, you know, it should be good. So on the sixth week, remember, this is all, she was juicing for six weeks. On the sixth week, she said, hey, yes, well, I'm hungry. I, I, I really need, I really want to eat something. I said, okay, cool. Give me, give me two more days of juicing and we're going to talk about eating something. So she did two more days of juicing. And then, um, and then I started adding some fruit of meals up in there. And then she went back to the doctor on that sixth week in a few days. The doctor said you had the cleanest blood I ever seen. Your urine is clean. You have no more cancer cells in your body. That only took six weeks. So I, I know this might seem like, you know, uh, crazy to some people, but this is not nothing new. This is like simple to do. The thing is we complicate it too much. It's not that complicated. You don't need no surgery. Remember, I, I remember I don't have a cure, y'all. I don't have, I'm just saying if it, was, if it was my family member, a lot of these things is not necessary, especially the science means you have to prove some 18 to 20 times. We have proved it almost 100 times. Healing the body is the easiest thing on earth. We just have to learn about holistic healing and health. That's all we got to learn about. But that's what I wanted to say, sister. Um, I definitely want to help you out with that situation. And I'm sure you know other sisters that's dealing with the same thing. And hopefully we can come together and really stop a lot of these surgeries because it ain't helping nothing. Beyond. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Also, for those who listen, I'm, I be in the breast cancer marches. I got a video on YouTube when we, when we write in the breast cancer marches. And I'm going to tell y'all something. The breast cancer march is the biggest sugar fest I have ever. You might as well just go to ho- eat Halloween candy. The breast cancer march. I never seen so much sugar in my life that I went to breast cancer march. They had cotton candy machines, Snickers bars, Doritos, hot Cheetos. Everybody, everybody in that breast cancer march, all 2,000, 3,000 people, everybody had candy or chips. Or, there was not a single juice bar in sight in a breast cancer march. When I first walked in, the dude on the microphone said, um, I want to thank Brian for giving $25,000 to trying to find a cure for cancer. Keep in mind, cancer has been healed in six weeks. And they still marching for a cure, right? So I'm walking in this march. I met like at least four or five women and a couple dudes. And uh, I said, oh, I'm a breast cancer survivor. Just think about how, how it rolls off of my tongue. I'm a breast cancer survivor. Why are you surviving from breast cancer? We should be healing. We should have healing breast cancer marches. That's what it should be called. So like I said, we had cotton candy machines up in there. Dude got on the microphone saying, hey, come get your cotton candy. Again, they're feeding the cancer with all this sugary sweets in the breast cancer march. So we got to ask ourselves, you have been in that breast. Matter of fact, the solution is at the breast cancer march. Because guess what? You're walking over dandelion root. You're walking over soursop. You're surrounded by trees that provide you with cinnamon. Everything I just mentioned prevents cancer. 
Cyrusop, dandelion root, um, milk thistle seed. Guess what? It's in the tree of life. It's all around you. So somebody need to get a microphone and yell, hey, women with the breast cancer, look around you. Get your Easter bag. Um, uh, Get your, what is it called? Your Easter, what is it called? Easter bucket. Get your Easter bucket and go pick some herbs. You got all these herbs. You, you're walking over Cyrusop, walking over dandelion root, walking over, you're walking over all these herbs. But well, we've got the pink shirt song, thinking that the pink shirt going to save our life. What well, is not doing nothing for us? Got your mic open. Somebody had the mic open. Real quick, I just want to uh, want to confirm what you're saying, because I did a, a breast cancer walk not too long ago for uh, for my lady's mother who transitioned from breast cancer. And that's all they had was like snacks, the little uh, granola bars, chips. All of that, raising canes, chicken, everything that that was not conducive to helping the situation at hand. That's all they had. Bro, let's go even deeper than that. What do they got? Tell me what the diet is at the hospital. What do they eat? At <laughs> Garbage. Janice, you got your mic. Uh, yes, I'm sorry about that. But the only thing they got at the hospital is garbage. Nursing home as well. Y'all heard it. Nothing but garbage. Purified water, Rice Krispie treats, Jello, um, applesauce that's full of citric acid that's synthetic. Nothing but chips and bread and um, mold, uh, more um, IV shots lined up for you. So ain't nothing healthy in the hospital. Ain't nothing healthy at the breast cancer march. It is all by design to keep you coming back and forth to the hospital. Now, I know you. I know we need our money. I know we work in the medical field. I understand. But imagine if this was your son. I have a woman. Um, I have a lot of people that, that are doctors, neurologists, and nurses that say, you know what? I'm fed up with this stuff. Like, my family is being affected by this. Um, I, I'd rather send them to, you know, a holistic healer than have them taking pills, breakfast, morning, and lunch. How can your breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner be pills? Then when you research the ingredients in the pills, half of the stuff you can't even pronounce. But I could pronounce dandelion root. I could pronounce plantain leaf. I could pronounce Paul Diarco. And all this stuff is good for what you would call cancer. Like I said, y'all, we have the results already. You don't have to keep searching far and wide to go to Africa or Dr. Sabi's village. Spend thousands, 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 thousands of dollars. We have the, the most affordable, the most available herbalist right in the room, name Yehuda. Sorry for speaking to third person. But if y'all need these results, I have the results y'all looking for. I spent many years getting count, countless track records of results. So as I was saying, if y'all are really about this life, if y'all are really about cleansing the blood within ourselves and cleansing the blood within our family, here's a great step to do it. Peace, love, light, and protection, Shelly. How uh, I'm good. I'm here on your website. I'm supposed to be in bed, but you yeah, got me. me too. I'm supposed to be in bed right now. You know, I just, I put it in the chat, but, you know, I've been going through changes. I'm, I just turned 54. I said, you know what? You need to do elimination diet. You need to detox. And as soon as I took the sugar out about two weeks in, and I didn't, I didn't lose all that weight that everyone said you're supposed to lose, but my skin started glowing. I started feeling better, and the the most annoying but good thing was my damn cycle started again. And you know, if I didn't need confirmation, or if I didn't have confirmation before, that was my body saying, "Hey, thank you for taking this poison." A way that you've been giving me so i just i came up to to just you know say i'm appreciating what i'm hearing i'm gonna go back and continue to listen but um your website is up and i'm about to file it in a, a folder so that i can make sure i can find it tomorrow so thank you very much all of you for your shares because I, I have huh? I, I, I meant to say absolutely go ahead my no, I just, I have some things, I, my family has things, so if, if if we can figure out how to improve me, 
maybe I can lead the way for some other family members to uh to come tune in and 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 get that healing. So yeah, thank you. I well, you? Shirley, guess what? I'm ready when you're ready. <laughs> thank you. All right. Uh, uh, let's, let's get it in, y'all. Like, look, we cannot see our family keep going through the same. We're going to the funeral every month. Every month is a different funeral. We have to put a stop to this. We have the answers. There's no more excuses, all right? So um, I definitely want to get y'all on some consultations with me. I'm going to put my consultation link back up top. I'm just going to explain what you're going to get with the consultation. You're going to get both my PDFs for free, right? My PDF alone, I, again, I have doctors, neurologists, therapists, and nurses in my phone that have gotten this PDF and said this PDF is more valuable than any book in that medical field. I took time to write this PDF to show you how to heal on a DNA level, especially if you're Black, Hispanic, and Native American. This is the stuff you need to be tuned into because I'm talking about breaking generational curses, you know, so-called. So I'm going to put the consultation link back up top again. You're going to get both PDFs for free. You're also going to, get, going to get my services for the rest of your life for free pretty much because it's just $100. Now, when this website, when my new website get opened up, it's going to be mainly focused on agriculture, free energy, irrigation systems, um, healing, um, mentorship classes, PDFs, and consultations. That's all the new website is going to be about. So, y'all, it's going to be called www.12rootsyn.com. So, I'll let y'all know when that's up. Just keep rocking with me. I'll let y'all know when that new website is up. But in the meantime, in between time, y'all can get a consultation right here. Click on the white rectangle. And um, where under $100, it's going to say add, um, add to cart. And then you can make your purchase. Please put your phone number so I can contact you when you make the purchase. Also, inbox me and, and let me know you made the purchase too. That way I can get, um, we can do your consultation tomorrow. Uh, we can, or we can do it tonight, cause I'm probably not gonna get no sleep tonight. I probably gotta, uh, I gotta be up in a few anyway. So like I said, you can inbox me tonight. We can do it tonight, or we can do it manana. All right. So Shelly, yes, you you want to cleanse the blood within your family. You want to cleanse the blood within yourself. If you have stubborn family members, I I don't mind talking to them on three way. Just to, or I have a lot of videos on YouTube that you can show them so they can see that this stuff is real. You see? Yeah, I could see myself sharing the videos. I'm the one always sharing stuff that people look at me with the side eye, but it, it needs to be shared. Um, but you, I'm sorry, I must, my old, my old cells must have been listening to you. I tried to keep up with you to see how to book an appointment with you and that, oh, up at the top. Okay. Yeah, you go uh, click on that, put go to link. Scroll down, it's gonna say a hundred dollars. Right under where it says a hundred dollars, you're gonna see a you're gonna see a white rectangle. Click on the right rectangle, it's gonna say at Okay, it's different on different screen. Okay, it works on the phone and not on the never mind, that's fine. So now I know I have to look at this on my phone. Okay. This old lady is happy she stopped in. I am storing you, and I'm going to go take a nap. I have to be ready for football in the morning. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. I will try to reach out to you tomorrow, see if we can get on the phone. All right, and may your days be long. Hope you sleep good. And know uh, we're going to talk soon, all right? Yes, thank you so much. Good night, you guys. Are you up? You know, see you on days. All right, well, look, how did y'all like today's live today? Did y'all get some answers y'all needed? I got your questions answered and everything. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm glad I caught you before the night ended. Um, I do have one more question. It's about the sour sop. Now, you know, um working with the herbs, we're always gonna be our first customer. <laughs> so with the sour sop itself, um, I have one on a sour sop tea kick and um i think it i think i was in my fourth day in before you know it started to affect me as far as the nervous system because i it does impact the nervous system so do you have a regimen that you would suggest when it comes to the soursop tea if you are a soursop tea drinker what do you mean by a regimen 
how often, how often would you say the sour sop tea should be drank? I would do it like maybe one one to two times every week. All right, that's a very, very powerful herb. Again, for those who's dealing with uh, fighting an infection, diabetes, lowering the body temperature, if you have problems sleeping, hypertension, blood disorders, ulcers, gout, osteoporosis, back pain, and rheumatoid ailments like rheumatoid arthritis, cancer, hair loss, or healthy skin, definitely look to that sour sop. We can do that like one or two times every two weeks. I'm sorry, one or two times every week. Drink so you could drink like maybe uh, a good two or three cups, one to two times every. Okay, yeah, I suggest the same once or twice a week. Um, I just wanted to put that out there because I know me myself starting off on the sour sop, I learned the hard way. Um, like the fourth day in, my heart was beating fast, and I was like, it's that sour sop. And I cut it out and flushed my system, and I was back to normal. But um, yeah, the sour sop is extremely powerful. Absolutely, absolutely. And if y'all know somebody, um, whether if they're about to go to hospice or if they're dealing with a really chronic disease, hit me up. Like it, it, it's better to get started right away than then wait. Because the more y'all, because I think people are just trying to wait until the doctor say they got two weeks to live. Even though that's not true, because a lot of my clients, the doctor say you got a year to live, they're still living today. The doctor say you got two weeks to live, they're still living today. Again, they they, they do these things that scare us. That's why they're removing all our organs. Right, putting us in fear, putting us on all these different um, chemo and radiation pills, and just having us back and forth, back, back and forth. To so, um, yeah, another Q and A. We got purple in the room. We got Makeda. Hi, my name is Makeda. Great, great. Y'all got any questions, statements, or concerns? I do. Um. You were talking about mushrooms, and I drink mushroom tea called Rise, uh, and it has about six different mushrooms in it. And it says that you can take two cups a day. I do one cup a day. It's in a powder form. I feel great because I wanted to get away from drinking coffee. Um, but it it brought something to my mind when you said that eating mushrooms, uh, I don't know whether you mean like raw and cook could mold in your in your system. That kind of threw me a little bit. Are you could you talk to me more about that? Correct. So by eating the raw mushrooms it will mold in your body. But when you break them down to a powder form, you break it down to a cellulose, which is easier to digest, right? Especially if you put it in your juices. That's what I usually do. I do lion's mane, cordyceps, and shaga in a powder form in my papaya juices. And that's easy for me to digest for your digestive tract. But if you just stuff a mushroom, like pour the mushrooms in your face every day, it will create mold in the body. That's so why a mushroom like that should be, should be in a moderation. Should you know be saying? in moderation. So I do like a uh, uh, I say a fried uh, portobello mushroom sandwich. Yeah, you could probably do it like, you know, once or twice a week, something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and I do uh, maybe some saute mushrooms. But someone said to stay away from raw mushrooms. Stay away from what? Because from raw mushrooms. We're, we're supposed to stay away from shiitake mushrooms. Really? Shiitake? Yes, those are the worst ones. We cannot consume that. Oh, my goodness. So why is that? Because it leaves behind a, a acidic ash. Like when you eat something, your body goes to metabolic metabolic process. It either, either leaves behind an alkaline ash or an acidic ash. So out of all the mushrooms, shiitake is the worst. So okay. that, so you basically you can stick to your, your lion's mane, your cordyceps, your shaga, your Reaching. chicken wood. Blue oysters, you know. Okay. Uh, here, here's another question. Uh, what do you think about the uh, Beyond Burger meat? 
It's garbage. That's what I think about. Have you read the have you read the ingredients? Um, no, I see I see that is one long ingredient that starts with the M, like meta or something. It also got know. corn in it too. Oh. I I I didn't see that. So yeah, Beyond Meat and Impossible is both processed um polysaccharides or disaccharides sugar meats. So we it's not it's not a simple amino acid structure. So um I, I understand if you're transitioning from eating meat and you go to beyond meat, that's a great choice because you're you're doing your transitioning process, right? But mm-hmm. after you transition from that, then you should get off of that and look more towards, you know, um eggplant um, pasta. I know how to make eggplant taste better than fish. You got your jackfruit tacos, purple cabbage, there's a lot of things that we can do to replace um, the um, the fake meats and stuff like that that they're putting out there. Okay. okay. Well, I was thinking that I heard that that um, someone was telling me to stay away from nightshade vegetables. So when you get an eggplant, eggplant, you cut the skin off. The skin is a nightshade. The inside is not. Example: um, the plum tomatoes. Cut the outside of the plum tomato off because the outside is a nightshade. All that means is that it, it takes so long to digest for your digestive tract. So when you get an eggplant, cut the purple part off, and then you cut it down in the middle how you want to do it, and then you get a nickel-free pot, nickel-free, toxin-free pan or whatnot, if you want to like saute it or whatnot. Um, I use, I use, um, what was that, chickpea flour. I use chickpea flour as if I'm going to make some fish, right? And um, I cut the eggplant up real good. I, um, I put it in a bowl with some grapeseed oil, specifically Rosa grapeseed oil. Rosa hexane free grapeseed oil. So your grapeseed oil has to be hexane free. Hexane is a neurotoxin drug. They put in a lot of grapeseed oils. So again, your your grapeseed oil has to be at least has to be a hexane free grapeseed oil. So you put the chopped up eggplant inside of that bowl, let it soak in that oil for a couple, you know, a few minutes or whatnot. Then you want to get you a bag, put a little chickpea flour in it. Put that um, eggplant that you chopped up inside of that bag, shake it up real good, just like you about to fry some fish. Now, mm-hmm. when you get it, when you get on this pan, you don't got a little bit goes a long way. You don't got to put a lot of grapes oil in the pan. Just like you, it, it, you just gonna act like you start sauteing it. Mm-hmm. So basically, you put put the um, eggplant on the pan, saute both sides with your seasoning and everything. You know, um, sage, rosemary, thyme, beet Himalayan salt, your dill weed, you know, stuff like that. Season mm-hmm. it up real good, your cayenne pepper, and it's good to eat. So the the whole nightshade thing is probably was hyped up more than what it should be. Because Correct. Just what you shared was is, is important information. Absolutely. Eggplant is really good for you. It's actually a fruit. But all the nightshade is talking about is the outer as that skin. You take the skin off. You don't eat the skin. It's like you want to bite into a watermelon. No, <laughs> but I think I like also what you said earlier in your conversation that the uh, the uh, eat my for your blood type is not they're not talking to us as melanated people. There you go. I'm glad you brought that up. Anna Britt is the first white woman that created the first food py- modern day food pyramid chart. All that eating for your blood type came from that. It's garbage. That is not designed for prokaryotic cells. That's designed for eukaryotic cells. That has nothing to do with neuromelanin. That has everything to do with eumelanin. That has nothing to do with us. So since we are indigenous people, we need simple amino acid structures. Even for your blood type has nothing to do with us. Again, I'm an A positive blood type, right? I'm an A positive. I look this up. And and what is it? Matter of fact, let's do this. Look up the diet for an A positive blood type and let's see what it is. Let's go on Google, type in A positive blood type diet, and let's see what our diet can This is going to prove that this eating for your blood type is the most stupidest thing on planet Earth. You say, what is the diet for A We gotta start eating according to our culture and according to our design and according to our origin. The word origin is short for original. We are the original indigenous people. So we gotta start eating according to our culture. Not soul food. We need nature food. Okay. 
Did it pull up for you? Okay, yes, it did. I think. Um, okay, and it picked up. It picks up a D. I don't. I demo. D. I demo recommends people on the A positive blood type diet eat an organic vegetarian or almost vegetarian food plan. Foods to eat include, and I see what you're saying, because it says soy protein, such as tofu, which I don't yeah, We all know that soy causes cancer. Let's eat, let's read some. Certain grains, such as spelt, hulled barley, and sprouted bread. No, because spelt is mucus form, and we and they're supposed to say do spelt in moderation. We can't just be eating spelt all day. That's very, that's a complex amino acid structure. Okay. Uh, it says to eat walnuts, pumpkin seeds, and peanuts. I don't eat peanuts. I eat walnuts. Why, and does, why, why does it tell us to eat peanuts when peanuts has apple toxins in it? That robs your body from calcium. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Olive oil, olive oil, and I know you get you have to get a certain kind of olive oil. There you go. It has to be, yeah, it has to be really, really extra virgin. It has to be really, really a good quality. Um, it says certain fruits such as blueberries, elderberries, certain kinds of beans and legumes. Now. That, that's another thing that's getting me is the beans. I love beans. My mother used to make pinto beans and cornbread. That was, you know, a staple in the home. And, of course, she used to cook. But then, of course, she used to cook pork and too. But I still eat beans today, of course, with no meat. And I love beans. I feel like beans is a is a is so a, is a if, if we're going to eat beans, right? We need to look more towards the garbanzo beans and lentil beans. All right. I'm trying to stay away from well that that that, that, that trick with the with garbanzo beans uh, is like is what's been told for positive uh, a not to eat. And so, it was it was kidney that, beans, lima that, that, beans. That's why I said if. Kidney beans and lima bean beans and, and black bean, that's all full of carbonic acid. We cannot eat that. Now, we need to look more towards the sprout family. Like alfalfa sprout, clover sprout, and radish sprout. So if we if we replace the beans with alfalfa sprout, it'll be way more beneficial because any bean you're dealing with, you're dealing with carbonic acid, even the coffee beans. And it's too complex for our digestive tract. So that's said if, like on a, a, a cheat day, that's when you get that garbanzo beans and lentil beans out. Besides that, we need to stick towards the alfalfa sprout and clover sprout and rabbit. Right. Now, the, uh, the Ethiopian diet, the vegetarian is like a lot of lentils. It's really good and greens and things like that. But you, you think even better than that is the alfalfa sprout. Correct. The wild and that, black and alfalfa rice, sprouts, alfalfa sprouts. Are Right, uh, alfalfa sprouts is like sprouted, like wheatgrass type of thing, right? Yeah, it has nothing to do with wheatgrass, but it, yeah, it looks like that. It looks like that. That's what I meant, just visually. And so that's not necessarily equivalent to a bean texture, mm -hmm. right? So I have to let the bean texture and all of that go. And I think that that's my, my next move. Yeah, and just transition to the alfalfa sprout, and you good. Now, what, now what you gonna do with it? Just put it in the salad. You can put you alfalfa got... sprout in anything. You can put it in a salad. I put it in my smoothies. I put it in my juices. I put it in my my, my hemp seed milk, my Brazil nut milk, my black walnut milk. Alfalfa sprout is an all-purpose um, food that you can put it in. Okay, so you're, are you are like more raw vegan? I'm a frugivore. That means my meal plan you're consists frugivore. of ninety. 90% fruit and 10% vegetables, no meat, fish, soy, and dairy. And so you don't, what about the cook food? If I'm cooking the food, I'm cooking it probably like two times every one or two weeks. Because I mo I mainly eat raw, mostly raw stuff. I'll give you an example. Tomorrow for work, I, I got to be to work at 4.30, right? Mm -hmm. I do mechanical engineering, I got electrical background. So I'm eating a papaya. I got some seeded grapes. I got a yellow mango, right? Now, um, 
Uh, what else I got? Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm in. Coconut water. And I got some jackfruit juice. So I, I have self-disciplined my mind to get fixated to eat that. Now, with my papaya, I made a, a big, like, smoothie, right? I put dill weed in it. I put the five different mushroom powders in it. I put alfalfa leaf in it for the chlorophyll, alfalfa leaf powder. I put micro arugula. I put moringa, moringa up in there, too. And I put um, micro kale. All of that is inside of my papaya smoothie. And I, I never think about meat. I never think about stopping at the snack machine. I never think about coffee because I'm fully energized because of the phytonutrients that comes from the papaya. See what I'm saying? Had it. So you, you, you're you frugal. Yeah, frugal more. 90% fruit, 10% vegetable. Got it. Got it. Okay, that sounds really good. That's good information. I really appreciate your expertise and your... Uh, sharing of the knowledge. I, I'm also going to share the information with my daughter because she has fibromyalgia. She's been having it for a long period of time. We spoke about it twice um, since I've been listening to you. And I think that she can benefit from the information. That sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to speaking to her. Okay. Well, I thank you again. Appreciate you. All right, you too, sis. All praise to the Most High. Yes, what's going on? Yes, indeed. Uh, what's I going on, brother? Twenty-four K. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. How you doing, boss man? Uh, quick question, man. Is is arrow arrow root flour any good? It's real static. Yeah, that, that, that's that's mainly that's mainly used for your soaps and stuff. Arrow root. Oh, like that's good for exterior. Too. Okay, not, not to make like no super nothing. Correct. That's mo- that's mostly used for exterior, not internal. Like like arrowroot, um, spirulina, um, golden seal, all that's for external. Okay, but, uh, I, I think uh, even, 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 even your lemongrass too. Okay. Say again. Is it staticky on your end? Is that? Somebody got that mic open. That's why it's staticky. I think that's you, um, Makita. Okay, I got to figure out how to do this. You know, this is my first time coming up. Uh, click on you. There you go. I you got go. it. Go Thank ahead. You. Go ahead, Tony. There you are. Go ahead. Yeah, man. I had got some arrowroot flour today, but I didn't really have much options, and I figured it was something had to be wrong with it. I already so what it. I would do, I, I would it. go back and I would get the chickpea flour. Right. Okay, okay. That's what I would do. You can use that to cook with. Yep, and the arrow root is for your soaps and stuff, your external uses. Yeah, so, uh, right. By chance, if I just use it one time, is it, is it, am I susceptible to causing damage? Man, that's all on you. I could only recommend, you know, the chickpea flour. If you use it, that's on your cause, brother. I mean, okay. And, uh, and coconut flour ain't no good either, right? Now, coconut flour is mucus forming because it's full of L-arginine, and the more you eat that, let's say, now if you're like a bodybuilder, I can understand why, but um, I wouldn't do. The, I I would just stick to the chickpea flour. That's the most simple one we can use. The spelt flour is too complex. The um, coconut flour is too complex. It's it's too complex amino acid structures. We need simple amino acid structure. That's why I would stick to the chickpea flour. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, how do you feel about probiotics and also black seed oil? Black seed oil is cool. Give me an example of what you mean by probiotics. Um... Uh, pro, I, I get like the 7 billion one or f- even 50 billion one. And I find that when I took, um, probiotics that, um, I wouldn't get as many yeast infections, especially when I was, do you have it with you now? Yeah. I got to go downstairs in the refrigerator. Do you mind grabbing it for us? Cause I want to, I want to read some of these ingredients. All right, let me get it right now. Now I know y'all thinking what I'm thinking. As soon as she grabbed this, we gonna we gonna see things we cannot pronounce. Now I want y'all to realize something. When y'all when y'all hear individuals say 
I'm taking this and I feel great. That's called remission. Remember, it's always a side effect to a lot of things that they give us. But most importantly, we have to read the ingredients and meet with the things we get from Big Pharma. All right, so when she get this, we're going to read these ingredients, and we're going to see if there's anything that she cannot pronounce. Which most <laughs> likely it's going to be. Um... Yeah, lack. What is this? Lack. Tabaculus. La 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 tabaca hobo. <laughs> yeah. Um. It's very tiny. Helveticus. Lack a toll. Baculus. A lot of lust. That sounds like a like a Count Dracula. La la tabaculus Count Dracula or something like a Dracula name. Mm-hmm. Let's keep reading. Um, Kefir granum, Lactococcus lactis, Thermophilus. Everything has like a us at the end of it. Yeah, um, Kelfer. Mm-hmm. Kelfer. Sac. Haram Cis um Turic census and there's so much more on the list. Well basically you got a bottle full of chemicals. Oh my god. It's supposed to be it's the title says raw probiotics for women, eighty five billion. Shoot, I read a title that says natural flavors in the back of ingredients, and natural flavors can be shit, it can be piss, that's natural. Yeah. So when you read the front part of a, because uh, remember, when you turn that bottle around, it's always going to be something different. So the front, I'm going to tell you an example. The front of the pack, package can say, full of zinc, and it helps the memory, and it increases brain health, and it can, it can say it fell down from the heavens on the front. All that doesn't mean nothing until you turn that bottle around look at the ingredients. Makes sense? Yes. So what do you what do you use that for again? Um they say probiotics is just good for your, your system. Okay, let's your talk about it. System. If you need probiotics, y'all, this is where you get probiotics from. Put it in the comments. Cat's claw, chaparral, olive leaf. And what's that last one? Black Walnut Hall. This is where you get your probiotics from, especially when you make it to a tea and you um make it into a powder form and add it to your juices. All right. Mhm. So now it's fine. Uh, one more thing: if you're dealing with yeast infections, urinary tract infections, um, um, candida overload, viral loads, that's what you need to get on. Okay. Um, and as far as the black seed oil, I give my kids a shot of that every other day. And I also take it myself, but I just wanted to make sure if, if that's good to give to the children. Uh, you can do it like maybe like two times every week. Okay. That's so cool. kind of calm down on it. Okay. Now let me ask you. What is it? Do they eat any cereal? Any milk? What is it? They eat cereal. Well, my son really eats cereal, but not every morning. Um, we can't do cow's milk because we're lactose intolerant. So I buy the almond milk. Okay, is almond milk good for you or bad for you? Well, listening to you, it sounds like it's bad. So what kind of milk can we replace the almond milk? I've heard hemp. Hemp milk is very good. So how will we make that? I don't know how to make it. I would have to Google it or YouTube you it. You don't got to do none of that. All you got to do is go get some organic hemp seeds from the store. You already got a blender, right? Yeah. So get some organic hemp seeds. I want you to get your measuring cup. You're going to put a quarter of a cup of a measure, uh, a quarter of a cup of the hemp seeds inside of the measuring cup. And then you're going to put some spring water in your blender. 
put that put the hemp seeds that in the measure cup in the blender and you're going to add this you're going to add some saline cinnamon c-e-y-l-o-n throw a couple of dashes up in there and then you're going to add some um you can either do blue agave or 100 percent maple syrup grade b if you can find grade b is more beneficial than grade a because grade b got more minerals in it but you're not going to find grade grade b out of store they mostly have it online so that's up to you though so once again you um, put the hemp seeds in the blender with some spring water, and then you um you add the hundred percent maple syrup to it or blue agave, and then you throw that saline cinnamon in it, and then that's how you make your milk. Okay. Blend it up. That's how you make milk. Put that in the chat, or uh, can you repeat the how much spring water? I got quarter cup hemp seed, uh, spring water, and hundred percent maple. You do like three cups of um. You know, like the little crystal guys spring water bottles. You can do like um, you can do like three bottles of that of the crystal guys spring water inside of your um inside of your blender. Oh, I see your replay's not on. I would have gone back and and um replay. Put it in the comments. Okay. So you're gonna do organic hemp seeds. Um, oh, I said a quarter of a cup. I'm gonna put 25 for a quarter, y'all. Quarter cup, and then we go. But I'll put some of that at 100% um, maple syrup up in there. Maple syrup or blue agave. Right now, we're gonna throw some saline cinnamon up in there. It's as needed. You know, just throw a couple of dashes of saline cinnamon, etc. And uh, I think that's it. In a spring, in a and I already said the crystal guys of spring water. All right, crystal guys of spring water, like three bottles, three bottles. Now it depends on how creamy you want the milk. So if you make it, you say, you know what, I'm gonna add a little more hemp seeds, stir it up again. It depends on how creamy you want your milk. All right, but that's how you make hemp seed milk. Is that easy? It, is, it should only take you 30 seconds to make that. It's really that easy. Okay, I and I gotta make it where my son. So, so Rebecca, Rebecca, this what I would do. Don't let none of your children know you're making this. Make it. Matter of fact, you got my number, right? I think you got it. I'm gonna send you my number because okay. I want to see the reaction that your children is gonna get. The thing is this: when you make it for your children, of course, do not tell them that you're making it because I want I want to make sure you make it just right. Uh, just the perfect sweetness for the children to not to feel any difference. Because some right. of you go and tell them you're drinking some nutmeg, they ain't going to want to drink it, be honest They're not. You. My son's not. My daughter will, but my son, nope. Correct. So, we, you know, you're you going to do it right. I'll make sure you do it right. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Janice, you got... Uh, yeah, I have it open. I was listening to these different diets and stuff, and... Um, I never took the time to where I had to put weight on someone. I always most likely try to help people uh, to detox and lose weight, especially working with the colon and the gut first, um, as usual. But I'm dealing with someone that um, was 171 pounds and the same person. And when I were able to get her out of the nursing home, she was 127 pounds basically and i'm dealing with trying to put weight on her not uh put on a strict diet to take it out she needs weight desperately so anything dealing with weight gain and weight loss is your pituitary gland and that correlates with your thyroid right so i would um yeah. the endocrine brain nerve and adrenal gland t on the website i would look into getting that i will also look into getting a thyroid and parathyroid t so i'm gonna type this in the comment i will look into getting the house special i'm sorry i said it wrong I would look at the, getting the endocrine, endocrine brain, nerve, and genital gland T, and the what's the other one? Thyroid and parathyroid T. Oh, that's what, what I would I look at. That's the website. I'm gonna type it in the comments. In, uh, okay. 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 I'm I'm going to do the consultation not for myself but for her um, at this time. Because like I said, I ain't been sick in over 38 years. I basically uh, care for myself. So I'm doing this for her. All right, sounds like a plan. So 
Mm-hmm. Now on this website, um, this is gonna be on Ravener's website. She's gonna be taking over because I'm gonna be transitioning to another website. It's gonna be a whole new website, and it's mainly gonna be focused on um just herbs and healing and consultations and PDFs, right? Okay. So um okay. So what would I do about now? Uh, this the lady that I've been talking to, European, of course. Uh, for me to be certified, because I have been studying this a long time myself, a very long time, and uh, basically I deal with the community. I live in a community where everybody's related, and uh, a lot of them, maybe about 60% of the people, maybe 70, quit going to the doctor. Well, they're not too happy, but um, anyway, uh, for me to get certified and to continue to study and teach and to continue to uh, help heal. So, um, uh, how would I go by trying to get, I don't know if the Moorish nation of, uh, of Islam does it or not, but maybe I need to talk to someone there about trying to get certified because I would rather, you know, have that under my belt than trying to just doing this at my own risk. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, as well as I used to say in some of the treatments, um, uh, to keep these uh, young boys alive. They were three when I got them. They only had a year to live, and they made it to 21, and they graduated from high school. But they were twins. They were The parents didn't want them. They basically tried to kill one of them, uh, threw a hot pot pile on them at the age three, and Brown practically took his breath. He went asthmatic and uh, hyperventilated. He almost died. But um, he's... Uh, He's uh he was born with hypocephalus and uh and, and he was wheelchair bound. Uh, the baby never never walked and then the other one never ate table food. He lives on pediasure. Clearly nothing but pediasure and water, but it kept him it's still keeping him alive. And if I put anything in his sippy cup or whatever I'm feeding him in, he won't take it so i just let them be because there's nothing i can give them to put weight on them at this time because if they take it in they're gonna vomit so they can only have uh insure and water but the basically i'm I'm concerned about uh the first person and trying to put weight on them and not take it out uh just we need a weight and sure yeah is 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 the the most dangerous drink in a cup in the whole wide world. It shuts down the kidneys. It's full of dextro sugar. It's full of all types of neurotoxin drugs. So if you want to help somebody gain weight, um, you look at again when, when you get on that endocrine brain nerve. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm send this all to you because you don't get on consultation anyway. But when you okay. get on it, um, when you get on the endocrine brain nerve and the genome gland T, you get on the brain power and then you get on the thyroid, the parathyroid T. Now you can fluctuate and you can either gain the weight or lose the weight, however you want to do it, because we just we just attacked the pituitary gland to produce more zinc, copper, and gold. Now your thyroid gland is, is correlating with that, uh, producing all the hormones and the, and the metabolism it needs for your body. Now that those are in check, now we can talk about what kind of foods they can eat to gain the weight. If you go on my Instagram, you'll see a he, whole bunch of... He, uh, he would never he would never eat he, he locked his mouth down for the male he locked his mouth down he had never i tried to give him ketchup just to get him to get a taste i was giving him a, a food test so what's and you're saying, you're, I was, saying, you're saying he can't eat solid foods correct he can never put if he eat anything like that he'll die okay perfect i got you so vegetable juices vegetables rebuild the body he can't, right? That's he what can't take support. it he can't take it I don't what puree. I, I don't. I don't blend. I don't even try putting uh, olive oil with polyphenol uh, in his juicing, and he he literally vomits okay, so all Janice, day. So Janice, so Janice, uh, that, all that means is that the hydrochloric acid in his stomach is weak. So what is the main food on earth that's really good for hydrochloric acid in the stomach to help break stuff down in your stomach so you can um, digest food faster? What do you think the main the main food is for hydrochloric acid in the stomach? I would really think that it was pineapple, but you can't find real pineapple anymore. It's going to be celery. For enzymes. It's going to be celery, right? Well, okay. Celery with green okay. apples, when you put that together and you juice it, that's for the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. 
Now imagine if you add some white oak bark powder to that and some slippery, so basically slippery elm and a yeah. bark powder and the white oak bark powder. Now we got the gut, the nervous system, and the mucosal membrane. Now that's going to help him break down more food because we already increased the hydrochloric acid in the stomach to help break down more food with the celery. Then we did the green apple was an astringent. Then we're going to add the white oak bark <clears throat> powder in the, in the slippery element the bark powder. Now we got some really uh, um, astringent herbs up in there too. And that's what I would do for that. God all bless the you. Together. Uh, white oak bark powder, slippery element the would... bark powder, um, celery and green green apple, um, juice all of that, bada bing, bada boom, and, wa and watch what happens. I'll try because he have a systematic nerve damage. Uh, they were born. Okay, so uh, not, 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 not they were born what, do we do? what do we do for the nerves? Bouver vein, go to well, cola, well, right? Well, I I gave I give them cel. You know, I try celery juice. You know, for nerve damage and things like that. But like I said again, putting anything that of that in his gut. I'm gonna try what you told me. Because I would love to see him eat. Um, he had never been on table food all any time of all his life. He was born with gallstones. So I want to. And so they this. did, did the. Uh, so celery is full of iodine, right? In order to yeah. complete any any nucleotide in the middle of a DNA structure, if it's fractured or abnormal, we need phosphorus and we need iodine, which is nothing but sugar and salt. We get in the sugar uh -huh. from the green apple. We get in the salt, which is iodine from the um celery, right? Now we're gonna make this more powerful because yeah. we're gonna put the white oak bark powder yeah. and the slippery elm and the bark powder up in there. Now um you, you mentioned something else about um about the gut. Uh, oh, the nervous system. Okay, throw some go to cola powder up in there. Throw some vervain powder up in there. You know, throw throw the herbs that's good for the nervous system up in there. So you see what I'm saying? When you throw that up in there, or we can wait and and throw the um the, the brain herbs. Um, for the melon juice, because the melon is going to energize itself. It's full of phytonutrients. So I got an idea of what I'm going to do. We'll, we'll talk on the phone. We um. We'll... Okay. All right. That's what we'll do. We'll do. Um, because they're very skinny. They still wear wearing diapers, and they're very skinny, skinny, skinny boys. They still look like babies. Um, uh, but they're 21 years old, and they still look like babies. So oh, we're gonna get that um fixed on up. I got you. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll wait on the consultation. Oh, I got to get it paid in, and I'll and oh, I'll go oh, from there. Oh, you, oh, you asked a question about the mentorship. Now I want you. To, I need us to know something, y'all. <laughs> when people ask me, do I certify people? A real certification. This is my. This is one of my thoughts on certification. A real certification is when you can help people heal from every disease known to man. To me, that's a real certification. Now, mm -hmm. I got certified, but I cannot certify others. Um, now, again, a real certification is when you help people heal from all these diseases. And I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. Because you're going to go to herbal school and get your little certificate. How many people that graduated from the herbal school got real, I'm talking about real deal healing testimonials? I'm talking about stage Not four. One. Think of no. now. But well, hold on, they got they got the they got the piece of paper though, right? They spent all these years getting a piece of paper, right? Now this is the problem. They gonna know your first and last name, ain't they? You are gonna be in the system yeah. now. Yeah. Now what happens to holistic healers in two thousand twenty three? Basically, they I mean they they come up against lawsuits and things like that. But uh, um, basically, a lot of them doesn't even exist anymore. A Why? lot of them don't. Because Think about it. You're going to go to some herbal school, which is still set up by the government. And then um, they're going to they're gonna know where you live at. You first, I'm just, hey, I don't want to say too much, but I think y'all know you're what I'm talking about. Yourself I up to be, you, you're setting yourself up for a Dr. Sabi effect. There you go. Can't say too much, but y'all know what The pharmaceuticals, it's, I'm saying too much right now, but what I'm saying is, um, that's why I never uh, pursued to go any further, but I get a lot of my wisdom from, from Allah, to be honest. 
and uh, just by meditating and and working with it. I've been doing it a long time myself. Everybody studies different and does different. And I do. I take a lot of miles from living off the land and binding myself with the land. I am very big on the way I cut my grass and everything because I would not run over no dandelion, no milk thistle, no uh, uh, stinging nettles or anything like that. My cloves, I, I just planted a whole bed of uh clove clover today and um i like to get a lot of mouths out of the wow and then bring it in you know same way with my mullen for mullen teas and stuff like that and um i harvest a lot of the um green the pine needles off the pine trees and stuff like that but uh i am very earthy but the thing is i dare not try to do too far with these boys because they they're very delicate and uh when i got them i only post had them for seven days i end up having them they lifetime right now and they was reluctant to make it past four and five years old and so the system didn't know what to do with them and i said well i keep them because basically to me they could have took their kidneys and their livers and donated them to someone else and basically said the boys died. So, no, I did not let them put them back in the system. Um, I brought them, I kept them at home with me, at my home, and I turned around and adopted them. Now they're 21, and hopefully I can turn them over to their sister because the mom, the original mother, doesn't want them. So... You know, I'm going to turn them over to the sister. I had her to go to CNA school to take up nursing. And I think she's ready for them, um, ready for them now, you know, because I just basically was trying to keep them alive. So if I can find a way of trying to get them to eat, I can get them to gain weight. But they're doing beautiful without it, though. I know the milk is not safe, but that's what the hospital, point blank, they get 15 cases apiece every month. So that's all, because that's what they live on, 15 cases of Petersher, and I know it's not good. I get them lots and lots of water, and I try to keep them detoxed and cleansed, but I can't do that too much because of their weight. You know, they need to gain weight, not lose weight. And so that's where I'm at with them. You know, it's been a long journey, but uh, it's been tiresome. But, you know, like like the word is, they have, at least my people are not take care of you. So I do what I got to do to help th those that are in need. All right. So when y'all look this stuff up, right, how much is it when you go to herbal school, right, and you try to get a certificate in the herbal school, right, you're looking at um, 600 to $1,000, right? Um, uh, some, uh, some ranges from 400 to $2,500. And the sister just told y'all from experience, because we, we're trying to save people a lot of time, right? Because, you know, time is precious. So you go right. spend all these years in this herbal school, right? And she told y'all, where is the healing testimonials coming out of this? Who in this herbal, even the teacher you talk to, I be talking to these herbal school, even when you talk to the teachers, right? Ain't no, there ain't nobody getting healed about it. Just basic stuff like diabetes and stuff like that. But what about the major test, the major healing, like stage four and cancer and lupus and eczema and hiv i'm talking about that kind of stuff if y'all need those type of results i have a mentorship program right my mentorship program is six hundred dollars that's the only thing you will pay for the rest of your life i will be your your mentor and your guider right we're gonna, we gonna learn about how to heal on a dna level we're gonna learn biochemistry neurology iridology we're gonna learn how to read a cbc blood chart holistically most importantly, how to heal, again, any disease known to man. I, I'm confident and I got the track record of results. All you got to do is go on the YouTube channel, go on my Instagram. We got a whole bunch of healing testimonials. All praise to the most high. And we want to present this to the um, to the people that, that does have an ear and want to hear this information so we can become a part of the solution, not part of the problem. Yeah, that's is that on payment or is that uh, in full? So it depends, you know, whoever I'm dealing with. I can probably do half and like three and half I split up. But it's just full. But for right now, it's full 600. But like I said, that's the only payment you're paying uh, for the rest of your life. And then you'll get all the uh, classes that come with me offline. 
I will have to find a way to do my Zen in payment right now because of the situation that I'm in. Because, you know, like I said, where I live at, they won't buy diapers. And I I have three of them on diapers. So, and I would like to take it. I mean, I'm very dedicated to what I do and I'm waiting for something to happen to where I can clear it out soon and not later, but I can clear it out soon. But I would like to be a part of the the classes because I do, a lot of people do turn to me for help and I don't turn them away. Uh, there's some nights where I stay up to two and three o'clock in the morning filling out solutions. But a lot of the people that come to me, I used to give the classes at the farm center and uh, they would want to give donations and I wouldn't take it. But right now I cut the classes out um, that I used to give over there at the farm center. And basically I give a lot of the classes right here in my home uh, for them to learn and to teach them how to live out, you know, live from the land and stuff like that and how to survive. We also do surviving because a lot of people is not into uh, holistic health, but they want to be healthy and uh, learn to eat healthy. So I do get into a lot of that. But right now I'm in a battlefield trying to put weight on someone and not take it off. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna work on that. Um you got my number, we're gonna talk about the uh prices. I got you. Okay then. All right, now yield. Now I'll just wait um to hear from you uh from there on. I know it won't be tonight, but I would like to speak with you at least sometime tomorrow, if you're free. Absolutely, absolutely. Most okay. definitely. All right, anybody else on the panel got any questions? Same as okay. I got this uh, authentic African African black soap from Whole Foods. And I, it's plant based. I think everything looks okay with it. Uh, can you just confirm that? I put it in my PTR. Let me check it out. Yeah, um, that's cool. Did you change the shower filter yet? That's coming next, man, and, and then right after that, I'm 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 getting that money for you. You know, rent was due, I got rent due today and all that. But I, I I told you it's my word. I'm getting that money to you, brother. So, but I'm that that Sprite Slimline shower filter is coming next, and then I'm gonna get that uh get that money to you for that for that uh at least half up front, and the rest of it. Yeah, make sure you get that shower filter chain. Like I said, it's only twenty bucks. That's the most important part. Um, but once you do that, it's gonna complement the soap that you got. I just gotta make a trip to uh, to Lowe's, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna do that uh, ASAP. Perfect. Yeah, you you on the right you on the right road. Um, real real good. The Bible says be we entertain angels unaware. And, you know you, you might just be an angel, brother. God bless you. Hey, bro. We all we all working it. Look. Uh, for those who listen, an angel means an uh, angle of light, which is a messenger. That's why I said, let your light so shine before men so they can see your good works, that you can be glorified by the Father, which is in heaven, as above, so below. So we lead, our goal is to lead people to the water, and if they want to drink it, it's up to them. You know, some people want to uh, believe in the government and, and be controlled by the media matrix, but you got another group of people out here that really wants to provide solutions. We're tired of seeing these generational curses keep going. We're tired of seeing our people in pain and all this chemo and radiation. We're tired of debating each other. We just want to come together and not talk about history, but start making history. It's the difference between talking about history and making history. I already know what Harriet Tubman did. I know what Rosa Parks did. I know what Nat Turner did. I know what Marcus Garvey did. But what are we doing as individuals to provide solutions for our people? That should be the main goal. We need to start. The faith without work is dead. We got a lot of work to put in, and we're very behind. So I'm speaking in a sense of urgency. Because, again, when these banks freeze up and, he, and um, the blackout happens, are we prepared? Remember, I, I'm on the point. Me and my brother are talking about we, we building solar panels under $700. We got irrigation systems. We got um, agriculture in the yard. We are prepared for survival, but we're trying to get other people to at least level up until what we, health. After we finish health, we got to be talking about more survival skills. All right? Mm -hmm. Somebody want to say something? Got your mind? Yeah. I am prepared, uh, and I have been, been 
continue to be prepared and getting my community prepared. If they don't follow, that's their business. Well, when everything hits you in the face, don't come running to me. I'm not Noah. I'm just not Noah's Ark moment at that moment. If you're not listening now, you're never going to listen until it's too late. Um, I've been on this journey for a long time, and I don't plan to take in a whole bunch of sick people either. If you're sick and you didn't listen to me then, I don't want you to listen to me now. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to be held back. I feel you, what you're saying, brother, because that's what I've been doing, you know, for years. I mean, I have even gone up. Yes, I've lived my Moorish nation. I've got my nationality change. And you talk like a Moor. Uh, and the thing is, these are some of the things that we're doing. And that's why I'm trying to trying to uh, uh, get this 100 acres of land to commute to create a community, including the greenhouse and the produce stands and the things like that and housing and teaching them how to build, you know, their own homes and stuff like that. These are some of the things I've been doing and standing alone. But when you build it, then they want to come. But if I ain't got no help, I don't see no need for your comment because the fact is we should be out here trying to work together and show that we as a people of culture, we can work together and stop hating each other and hurting each other and taking from each other and cheating each other. You know, things like that. Let's come together to feed each other and and learn to survive together and coexist together because when it hit hard, we're going to need each other. If you need it, I don't need, I'm going to say this, I put myself in a position where I don't need anyone, but I need to help other people. And if they're not listening, they ain't learning. And that's the way I feel. I ain't never too proud to, you know, to say uh, um, I can't learn from someone else because all it does is enhance your knowledge and your power of understanding. And when you, I mean, like they said, pay it forward. I take what I know plus what I know and learn from someone else and I pay it forward and continue to heal with pharmaceutical hit. It's gonna be a lot of people wishing they have new holistic healing and how to live off the land and how to make these different teas for healing and things like that. And it's gonna be too late. You got to figure out how you're gonna protect your food from being contaminated. When they, if they decide to do anything to your air, where, what are you gonna do then? You better learn how to learn to build and go underground for a while until it rains so that you can coexist together. If we can't coexist up here together, how are we going to coexist in, in a bunker? You can't do it. So you got to be careful who you're bringing in and who you're letting out. So those are some of the things I understand. I feel what you're saying because that's where I'm at. That's exactly where I'm at. If you think about it, the Chinese man ain't arguing about a religion. Uh, the Japanese ain't arguing about who, who got the oldest the tablet, who got the oldest emerald tablet, who who has the oldest, the most ancient religion. Kemet, Israelite. I'm talking to the Moors. I'm talking to the five percenters. I'm talking to um, the Israelites. I'm talking to the Christians. Chinese man is not arguing over that. We are the only ones on planet Earth arguing over history and religion. Everybody else mm -hmm. is arguing over how how fast can we kill these niggas? Let's let's create these Chinese who got restaurants. Here first. Correct. Yeah, and who yeah. got here first? And uh, that's not going to do you a hill of beans when you go. I mean, they we might say we got here first, but we're going to be the last to catch up if we don't start now and start putting back and prepping and working together. We're we don't our people. You know, I'm not going to say we because there's some of us busting our butts to continue to keep going and then we got a whole heap of them that you know they're so far behind you wonder will they ever catch up no they won't because they they are what you call dead people you walk around saying you're black and you're not your hair is black perhaps but your skin ain't black and you're not black you're i'd rather say i'm brown but i'm melanated you know i'm not black i'm not dead either but the thing is, I don't want to live like I'm dead. Like the, like the old word said, let the dead bury the dead, and that's what they're doing. But uh, I made a big change once I did my nationality uh, change and all the other things go along with it. But it doesn't make me who I am. I know who I was a long time ago, and I made a difference in my life then when I was able to save myself, you know, and I continue to do that and trying to save others. But we got to figure out how we're going to come together as a people so that we can, you know, we are better in, in a, in a uh, dozen than we are standing in one. You know, you got a better chance in a dozen, a decent dozen than you do standing alone. 
you know, because it's, the trouble is coming. And right now they're using the TVs and stuff to distract our people when you need to be learning how to uh, do holistic healing because when they shut off the, the Medicaid already getting ready to be shut off. Then there's your Medicare, and then they're going to start going after your Social Security. And then what are these women's going to do? Constantly having babies, and then they're cutting off the assistance that the government already done bought you with food stamp and welfare. What are you going to do when you say, uh, I can't feed my ladies anymore, and you'll throw your man out? You're in trouble. If that man there and he's hustling, Maybe one day he'll learn to get a job if he's hustling, leave him be, you know, because you got to hustle together sooner or later. You got to learn how to hustle because that's where things is coming to. Everybody don't know about uh, cryptocurrency. People going to be lost. A lot of people going to be lost. So we. Uh, you back in the majors. I'm not going to look out for anyone that don't have a concern. Uh, Peace. Um, I just have um, one more question before I leave. I wanted to ask as far as um, your mentorship goes, um, what does it consist of? Um, I have healing testimonies myself. I'm more so I don't use them uh, as a way to, um, you know, promote any herbalistic healing because that just comes with what I do. But as far as using the herbs, do you also use energy healing um, within your area of work with your clients? So um, it's, it's that plus more, right? So yes. I, I teach I teach physiology and spirituality and the emotional body all combined. So it's all that plus more to answer your question. Okay, thank so, you. So so just to get more in depth with your question, I got a lot of spiritual people that, that I, I educate and I teach, right? A lot of tarot readers, Reiki masters, energy workers, you name it, I done help them level up to the level they needed to be. Now a lot of a lot of spiritualists they think I just deal with the physiology, but they don't realize that everything is connected. You cannot mention physiology without spirituality. So um, I try to teach tarot readers that, um, of course, the cards the cards is cool and everything, but it's really you already have the gift inside of you. You don't need the cards. The gift has been inside of you. When you watch the movie Matrix and the, and the Oracle and how she guided Neo, right? It's the same thing. Neo means one. So our goal is to become whole and stop digging our own hole. So when I'm talking to any type of spiritualist person, because I notice that in every spiritual group, we got good and we got bad people. We got good Israelites, bad Israelites. We got good Christians, bad Christians. Good tarot readers, bad. It, 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 it's, it's all over the place because it's a duality. The thing is, in deep within each religion and within each culture and with, within each person, we all have the possibility to be good. We all have the possibility to do something positive. But the thing is, we get distracted too easily, and we have a short attention span, and that's what's going on with our people. So when, when you, yeah, because emotions means energy and emotion. So when it comes to healing the spiritual, emotional, physical body, it definitely, I'm, my goal is to get to the root of the problem, right? So it's not just me pushing, I, I don't just push sea moss. I don't just push sour sauce. I definitely don't just push herbs. I, I tell us how to clean the skin, the mucosa membrane, lymphatic system, and the, uh, get the kidneys to filter. And every organ in your body has something to do with either, something either spiritual or emotional. So I, I'm I'm be on the phone for hours talking to people. I was on the phone for one client that was crying all night on the phone. And I was up all night, you know, with them what going through the whole process. Made you so it's, it's me digging into their past seeing what, what happened in their past, unraveling that, right? And then uh, uh, building with them, relating to them, and getting them back into a, a full homeostasis of healing. See what I'm saying? Yes, thank you. Yeah, I had to ask that question because I know you can't talk about the spirit of the herb and not talk about the spirit in general. But yes, you're right. Uh, as far as any divination goes, divination is just a tool, but it's something that we have been doing for many, many years holistically, you know, using the energetics of our own 
bodies and wills and whatnot. You know, I've been through the whole Moorish paradigm, the changing of the appellations. Um, I, I know who I am and always have, you know, um, I am a Hebrew, okay? And um, I know that and I have my paperwork for it. I also am a genealogist. So my bloodline traces all through into the Americas pairing up with these indigenous Indians and tribes with chiefs, Algonquin what chiefs, moment made my chiefs as my grandfathers. And this is stuff that I can show you, you know what I what mean? So moment this, made you hate what we're talking about is just in me to do. So I had to ask about what type of energy healing was being accompanied with this um, because, you know, there's all type of different divinations to use, you know, as far as like tarot, what you mentioned, I am an oracle, I am a tarot, but I don't need the cards to see, you know, it's more of my manual prescription to be able to support people with direction. And like you said, the messengers are the angels, you know, I'm Empress 444. And you know what the 444 is if you study numerology. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate all of your knowledge. I appreciate what you're doing for the people here on this app in general, because there are so many people that need to know that there are people like you and I that are out here to support them in the various ways that we were sent here to do. So peace and love to everyone. And I wish everyone a beautiful, healthy wellness of journey. That's a great share, Tammy. And um, just to uh, um, touch bases and conclude to what you were saying uh, and my thought process, we have a lot of different religions and ideologies out here. I have came a long way. I've been there, done it. I've seen it, studied it, mastered it, got all the books in my room, studied it. I did everything. But what I noticed is that after all these studying, and the most thing I needed to do was apply the information that I studied. So I ran Beautiful into people. people in all walks of life, right? So I don't, but to me, I don't like to be placed in the group. I don't, I don't like to be labeled as a group. Because to me, you are more powerful than the group. You, you, you're just way more powerful than that. So on my mother and my father's side, um, me and my brother were, were Powhatan, Cherokee, and Blackfoot, right? So we're very indigenous to this land. We're, we're what you call so-called Native Americans, indigenous people to the land. And we know when it comes to indigenous people, we have the healing. We have, we. this is embedded within us. We have the natural aspects to take the heal, restore, and rebuild our nation. But um, um, it's just certain, certain groups I don't want to involve myself in because I feel like they're lazy. And um, they're talking about 50% of the solution, not adding the other 50%, right? Because um, when I was in a specific group, all I was doing was quoting scriptures. I had my friend just have my, my little, roll my beer and everything was cool. But I, but I didn't, they never talk about health. It's like they don't care about health when I was in that group. I never heard anything about health and healing. I only heard one camp talk about health and healing, right? So since I didn't really hear that from them, I said, I, I, I've read it to more people that talk more about it. Now I, I, I feel like I'm complete. Now I can feel like I can really teach in the full totem of healing the spiritual, emotional, and physical body, also bringing historical facts in. Because there's no point of talking about history if you're not making history. My goal is to make history, not just talk about it. If that, if that you know, answers some people's questions about you know uh, what my mission is on earth and everything. Oh, yes, definitely. You know, uh, I can share with you that is your passion and it's what you're here to do. So you're walking in your purpose divinely. So, you know, um, you don't need no label for that right there. That right there is divinely guided. So, yeah, I appreciate, you know, <laughs> everything that you're doing for the people. I appreciate you. Uh, Janice, you got your mic open? Oh, okay. All right. Um, hey, I appreciate you too, Tammy. I'm glad we can all. Um, so listen, if you got Tylenol in your cabinet, you are worse than that because pharmacy means pharmacia, which means witchcraft, poison, and sorcery. So our, grand, our elders used to be outside storing herbs in the big black pot. Think about it. I got a picture of an elder woman stirring herbs in a big black pot, and she was hung and lynched, and her organs was taken out. 
just because she was helping some of her family members heal from diabetes. So the, the government has got us so torn up inside that we are literally killing our own people when they literally giving us all types of sorcery poison. Think about it. They give you smart water, right? Smart water is dumb water because the etymology of the word smart means stinging pain or poison. Smart means stinging pain or painful, just like the smart vaccine is painful. So the smart water is reverse osmosis poison pharmaceutical water. That's all it is. Then you got your Fiji. We, we spent a hundred thousand dollars on Fiji water. When that's on the 6.5 pH, which is super acidic, Fiji stands for Fuji because it's fooling people. So what I learned, you know, after studying everything, um, if I if I had to call myself a title, it would be a Hebraic starseed light worker Nazarene, right? And I'm gonna show you why I would call myself that. The word Hebrew means to cross over. I go with the notion that we cross over from the cosmos. To come to earth and make it a better place. We are celestial beings. You can read that in the scriptures. It talks about celestial and terrestrial beings. And I call myself um, a star seed because the one you call Jesus Christ or the one they call Yahweh Shai, he called himself the bright and morning star, right? Um, I put star seed together because we come from a chosen seed. So star seed. Then I call myself a light worker, right? Let your light so shine before man so they can see your good work, etc. I put light work together, light worker. Right. So he breaks star seed light worker. I just I put stuff together that makes sense. And that way I can relate to other people. Now I can I can even add African, not African, but African. A F A F R I K H A N. African, not African is a total, total difference. So if I was to call myself a title, that would be my title. But again, I don't even want to be put in no group because I if, if I my my name is a part of the solution. I'm a solutionary brother that doesn't want to create problems, but I want to be a part of the solution. So that would be my name and my title. That's what that's what I'm rocking with. All right. Well, thank you for that, and I understand every bit of it. <laughs> every bit of it, you know. But that would be a whole nother room if we started talking about series and everything else. But I thank you for that explanation because I agree with every title that you just claimed. And light worker, that's what I am. So thank you so much. Hey, thank y'all for even coming in, tuning in, and listening. Uh, we have a notice. It never was a dull moment. I think I've been here for like four or five hours. It's just never a dull moment because there's so much information. And all we got to do is just apply the information. That's it. We see we see, we out here transitioning every day, going back and forth to funerals. Your grandma got diabetes. Your uncle got liver cancer. Your your, your granddad got gout. Like, come on. Like, these things is easy to heal, but we, we are too busy listening to the media matrix. So everybody in this room, we all have to become master herbalists. You don't need no degree for this. You don't need a master's degree from your master to become a master herbalist. All you need is a pen and a piece of paper and your listening skills. And the most, the little bit of money you're gonna pay to, um, to learn from a, a, a real deal master herbalist that's putting in work, it's gonna be pennies compared to what you're paying to be a nurse and doctor. You're talking about 90,000 to $10,000 and then you still gonna graduate being a nurse and you still pay I wouldn't pay it. I wouldn't pay it. Sorry, I got my mic on. Yeah, you still paying off student loans. So like we gotta we gotta just come together, y'all. Like if we're gonna come together and while we in grace, at least be a part of the solution. Don't be up here wasting people time, scamming people, giving people false hope. Be real to people so they can be real to you and let's pay it forward. As scary as it might sound, while you're on this journey, while you're on this journey, whether if you're detoxing, you're living a fruitful lifestyle, you're you're learning about your history, you you, you just got out of a religion. Why are you on the spiritual journey? Give your, give your mind a chance to produce a good thought before you go through this journey. As scary as it might sound, always expect the unexpected. Do what you can and let the most high do the rest and do not make a small bump into a mountain. Every step of the way you go when we're transitioning from one level to the next level, just know that you got a, a, a creator that's inside of you because the kingdom is within that's looking over you 
guiding you through the whole thing. So you don't need to fear no more. I know the scripture says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and good understanding all they do his commandments. But the precept for that is fear not because I am with you. I will strengthen you. That's what it says. So why are you fearing when the Most High is going to be with you? Didn't Jeremiah or Jeremiah say, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? Some people call it shadow work, right? I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. All these things is talking about the same thing. Uh, Jeremiah means Yah will exalt. Moses, his name means spring out of water. Water in Hebrew means wisdom in heavens. So we got to attain that wisdom. We got to open the eye of ours one day and see exactly that we can keep pretending like it's a black and white issue. But when you open the eye of yours, you're going to realize that this is deeper than a black and white issue. You got draconians, grays, demons. I'm telling y'all right now. Once you open that eye, you're going to realize this is way deeper than the black and white issue. And then you're going to start noting, noticing that the mind is the most powerful thing in your body. That's why you got to heal the mind and the body will follow. It's all controlled through the nervous system. So keep that mind sharp. It's, too, it's sharper than a two-edged sword. Um, keep the faith. Keep putting in that work. Um, keep coming to church. We have a church every day, right? When I go live, churches every day, churches when two or three are gathered together, we have a real church because there's real solutions up here, right? Not no ATM machines and stuff. So if we, if we with rebuilding and restoring and healing our nation, if y'all are tired of depending on the government to come up with an answer, if you're tired of on depending on the government to govern your mental, let's go, let's create rooms like this. That's more solutionary based instead of us arguing about religion and ideology. All right. Uh, any more questions before we close out? Anybody? All right. On that note, I will be, I think I won't be live. I, I might be live tomorrow. But if y'all need anything, just text me. If you got a family member that got cancer, diabetes, I will give you my number. That way I, I, I will even talk to them for you. I'd rather we do that than the doctor said they got two weeks to live. Let's not wait to the last minute. We are known for waiting till the last minute. Let's stop doing that. If you need my number, I will give you my number if you have a family member in need of help. Let's not keep waiting. The, the time is not waiting. The time is now. Let's make a change tonight. Let's start applying some of this information. So yeah, until we meet again, thank y'all so much for coming through. May y'all days be long. I'm going to say peace, love, light, protection. If y'all need me, I'm just one text away. You can hit me up on my Instagram. You can hit me up on here. Also, make sure y'all watch that video up top. H-O-H LLC brings Clubhouse to Beagle. That is a must-watch video right up top. Make sure y'all watch it. Inbox me and let me know what you think about it. All right, so I'll see y'all soon. Any closing words anybody want to say? All right, well, y'all be safe.